Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the July 5th, 2020 Lunar Eclipse in Capricorn Part 1 of 2. And as far as the, uh, the basic meaning uh, of a lunar eclipse, well, the thing about it is, uh, for those of you that don't, don't know, uh, lunar eclipse is basically an, an amplified or intensified full moon in astrology. This could be about very uh, powerful, unrestrained, uninhibited uh, unleashing of the emotions at this time. Um, being in Capricorn, though, it might be ones that are just very serious and uh, really dealt very strong despondent feelings and letting, it could be uh, of really letting somebody know in a very loud manner, so to speak that you're just uh, either you're very dejected or despondent or melancholy regarding a certain issue. This is uh, something when you're talking about full moons and lunar eclipses in astrology it can often be about suppressed energy that somebody uh, may have had for a very prolonged or protracted period and it's finally unleashing it comes out the fact that it's a lunar eclipse though it could have more life-altering implications it could be like if you're telling a, a, a boss or authority figure to say I've had enough enough is enough it could could be a place a career you may have had for a very uh, sustained period in contrast to uh, a regular full moon where it could have been something where it could just be like a, you, know, you might manifest in like a minor argument or somebody telling somebody they're tired of some kind of responsibility and then they might change and maybe their duties or something there might be a small modification maybe when you're talking about a lunar eclipse this could have life altering uh, implications now when you're talking about uh, this this could uh, lunar eclipse I mean and being in Capricorn of course this could impact all collectively but especially somebody that has a Capricorn or Cancer Sun Moon or Sun and Capricorn of course because it's in their own sign but Cancer of course because the moon does rule the zodiac sign Cancer and the zodiac sign Cancer can simply be very sensitive to all transits phases of the moon and I think that plays a large role in why the zodiac sign Cancer is so temperamental uh, fickle and moody and um, Anyway, well, uh, the thing about uh, this this particular uh, one, I'm thinking, well, as far as far as this goes, I could see. Well, first, I want to get at is that, of course, when you're talking about full moons in astrology, and this lunar eclipse could be on a larger scale. It could be a greater, excuse me, greater propensity for accidents at this time, and. Uh, a lot of it can be attributed to, given that it's in Capricorn, it could be gloomy, despondent, melancholy feelings. It might be somebody angry over feeling maybe in, inferior and maybe that it's taken out on somebody on the road, like in road, road rage, for example. And keep in mind, and I'm you know, really not being flippant with this, that maybe something with the car a vehicle uh, problem uh, you're talking about Capricorn could be connected with the skeleton and the bones and and, uh, and the thing about it is on, on a car you have a part you have the, the structural part which is like the skeletal part the chassis of the vehicle so I'm thinking there may be some problems uh, with that and uh, or whether the accident accidents there may be greater propensity for accidents because of an issue because of some structural uh, damage that might lead to some kind of mechanical failure if that is possible or it could be an accident that results in some issues with the, the car skeletal uh, part in, in, in the chassis of uh, the vehicle and accidents may also take place because given that this is a Capricorn energy Capricorn of course is very authoritative can be bossy it could be somebody trying to uh, tell you know, yelling at somebody on, that's driving uh, by them on a, whether it's on a road or highway and, and telling them how, that they need to take driving lessons or something and and it could be some retaliation because of that the retaliation due to somebody being somewhat quote unquote bossy or authoritative on the road and or you might or somebody might want to simply show somebody who's boss basically and uh, a thing about this too, when you're talking about this energy, I mean, full moon lunar eclipses in astrology can be about 
endings that can be about culminations or completions of something. Now, given this is the lunar eclipse uh, in Capricorn, this could be the end uh, of something where maybe a uh, somebody that was very tyrannical or like a boss or an authority figure, very authoritative or a person in your life that was acting like, like this, that was being overly or excessively bossy, uh, a situation or person that might be overly negative or pessimistic. It could simply be, or be a career ending moment, which of course could again could have some kind of life altering implications. It could be something of major uh, significance and monumental importance. Also too, it could be the end of some kind of limitation or restriction or a thing that was very depressing or causing some despondency or a situation that was overly uh, regimented. And maybe this is a time where you're just simply uh, getting tired of it at this point in time and also it could just simply be a responsibility that might come to a halt or completion at this time as well a situation with an older person uh, may come to an end uh, at this time as well now also uh, especially i mean if this falls in the second sixth or tenth house in one's natal chart what i refer to as like a money or career uh, house. Uh, these are the money career houses in, in astrology. Uh, it could be the end of a Capricorn-like career. It could be something uh, connected with the government or politics, accounting, some kind of business position like maybe like a business analyst. Uh, something where it could be with dentistry or some kind of uh, maybe even information technology or some architect or something connected with architecture at this time it could be general uh, mundane work it could be something that involves timekeeping or masonry or something that uh, it just anything that could be uh, Capricorn uh, related at this time it could be something where, it, where somebody is just tired of some overly consistent schedule or routine and it's time to maybe perhaps break free uh, from that this time. Remember Capricorn is the sign connected with limitations, inhibitions, and uh, restrictions. Now, and again, uh, when we look at uh, lunar eclipses, full moon lunar eclipses in astrology, this could be a time where somebody becomes very tired, full, simply exacer ex exasperated, had enough of a certain thing or some situation or person. Now, this could be a time where somebody becomes really tired, full, or exasperated at someone, or it could be a person that might be overly callous or cold or undemonstrative, somebody that is not, that shows certain reluctance and exhibiting uh, emotional energy. It could be somebody that you might see as overly ruthless or bossy or authoritative. It could simply be a certain responsibility that might be coming uh, to an end at this time. And say if you have this in your fourth house as an example, it could be the time where one may uh, kind of worth taking care of a debilitated family member or family member someone you're close to home with might be uh, it might have some restriction or debility or and it might be a time where perhaps this is the time where it comes to an end and given that this is the lunar eclipse it could have been something that you may have been doing for a very prolonged or sustained or protracted uh, period. Now another thing too is of course it's important to look at the house this falls in as this could impact the delineation and interpretation. Now mine is going to fall in my ninth in the ninth house. So for me this could be uh, the end of some overly negative or pessimistic type limiting uh, maybe an overly negative maybe philosophy or limited philosophy or outlook. It could be uh, it could be that, uh, be, remember that lunar, full moon lunar eclipses can be about revelations. It could also, it could be about when one becomes simply cognizant of something. And it could be about manifest and maybe understanding or being cognizant that uh, the reason maybe I haven't expanded horizons in any recent time is due to my own fear. And there was nothing really inhibiting me perhaps but my own fear and perhaps becoming uh, cognizant of this as well and some kind of fear involving abstract thinking or maybe doing something connected with publishing a lot of people have encouraged me to perhaps like write a book on astrology and 
for whatever reason, I've been reluctant to do so. I don't know if this is going to be the time where I get this awakening or revelation that it might be time to do something or which will ultimately lead to a publication, but it could be something I might be contemplating more at this time, uh, more so than usual. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but another way this could manifest and pan out well. This could be a time when you have a lunar eclipse in astrology, it can be a significant point where somebody, it could be a prominent female, a dominant or prominent female person in your life, a female that's played an integral role in your life scheme, may depart or leave at this time. It could be, I mean, it might be an authority figure, a boss, somebody that maybe that was a supervisor that maybe you had worked with for a long period, for a sustained period. Remember, Capricorn is like the sign, I would say, connected with longevity and old age. So it could have been somebody that maybe you had known for a very long time. It might be an older person, an older supervisor. This could be a time where maybe, or maybe it's in some cases it could be a significant other. If this falls in the seventh house in one's natal chart is an example it could be the departure of a significant other uh, at this time but this uh, but that could be uh, I would say that it's not it could be somewhat isolated but that's still a possibility and uh, the thing about this there could be a close friend uh, of yours that might uh, a close female friend that might be leaving your life at this time say if this falls in the 11th house that would increase that propensity for it to be an up close friend that might depart from your life after knowing him from for a very prolonged period now Another thing about uh, this as well is that when you're talking about uh, full moon lunar eclipses in astrology, lunar eclipses, I, I say it as something that could be very somewhat serendipitous. It might be a situation that uh, when you when it first when it first hits you, it might be perceived or construed as somewhat negative, but it winds up manifesting in something actually very positive or beneficial. Say. Uh, this is going to be an odd example, and you know, something like I'm just throwing this out arbitrarily. But let's say, for example, you know, if you have this in your fifth house of sports, and you have a friend that's going to participate in some, uh, you know, an obstacle course event. And remember that I see Capricorn as being connected with obstacles because it is associated with restrictions and limitations and delays. And the fifth house is sports. So let's say it's in the fifth again. It's in the fifth house of sports, and you're um, you have a friend that's going to participate in some uh, obstacle course. And what happens is something happens, say a hamstring injury or something with the knees. Or, they're not able to participate in it, and you're called on very spontaneously, very unpredictably, and, you're, and they say, well, you know what, we, we really need you in this event. Now, this could be something that might not seem very important or significant. And lunar eclipse, you're probably thinking, well, Eddie, how, did, how, is this, how is this even that important? But, you're, you're not, but as far as I'll finish the example, now the person said, hypothetically, they say, okay, I'm going to go into this obstacle course. It's got all these obstacles, maybe reverse treadmill. Maybe it's like a American Gladiator type obstacle course, and it's very difficult. But the person that participates it for that person's friend actually finishes it, maybe comes in first, maybe finishes stronger than he or she thought they were going to be able to do. And something like that could actually propel the person later on in life and give them some confidence in being able to do certain things and work, have the ability to work through limitations and restrictions in life. And it might show that the person might have more uh, discipline and be able to work harder than perhaps he or she may have originally uh, anticipated. So it's something where an event could take place that might seem like it's going, oh, why, why is this happening? How is this going to help me? And, and it winds up actually being something uh, positive uh, for a person. And uh, it, it might also encourage, another example could be it might encourage somebody to start something consistently like working out vigorously or, or or maybe gets the person involved in some kind of sports in you know some other capacity uh the person might be like oh this was fun i like being i like doing something like this it involves uh, it's something athletic and it is enjoyable so it's something where uh it can be 
something that might start out as something negative but might manifest into something positive uh, later on in, in the thing. And anyway, people, one last thing I wanted to talk about is that I noticed that this, I mean, this is going to be at 13 degrees, so at a critical degree in astrology, 13 degrees of cardinal signs are, of course, critical degrees, so this could be, this could put a little more significance and emphasis on this particular transit. And when this uh, takes place, it's going to be uh, conjunct the second house cusp in the United States natal chart. And the chart I'm referring to is the one with the Sagittarius Ascendant. And the thing about this is some of you may have heard recently that Donald Trump had stated that we're going to be getting some kind of new stimulus package and likely it will have money in it. And, uh, and he said at the time it was going to be about two weeks it would be unveiled and revealed. Well, full moon's uh, lunar eclipses can be about revelations and unveilings. The fact this is going to be in close proximity to the United States second house tells me it could be revealed at or around this time what this money uh, this money is and how much it's going to be this stimulus package. Capricorn, of course, is associated with the government. Well, the thing about this, though, the only thing that concerns me is that it's going to make an opposition to the United States NATO Cancerian Sun. So I'm just wondering if they're going to get some opposition uh, from some others as far as how it might help them in terms of their life. The sun is connected with life and astrology and the basic wants. And of course, being in cancer, basic wants associated with the home and the family, maybe even subsistence and survival needs for the person. So uh, maybe it won't be as much as a lot of people anticipated, but Donald Trump did say it was going to be a generous amount. First amount was $1,200, so I'm thinking that intimate that to me that intimates and implies that it's going to be more than twelve hundred dollars. It might be like two to three thousand dollars, perhaps, but that's just speculation. But anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Evan Laird saying stay well.